So hi, this is the Bali 4.2. We're going to do a very brief walkthrough here. We've just got the opportunity to get onto this. Um, we have one that's going to be going into our sound training and uh, education program in Fort Lauderdale. So we just wanted to show you how the boat, what, how the boat's laid out. So here we have a plancher, which is a nice feature uh, for barbecuing, etc. Um, we have a really these are the davits. The davit system runs up here to an electric winch, which we'll show you in a second. So you can lift the davits electrically, which is nice. Um, we have a nice walk, part, walk, walk through at the back here. This okay. So then here's a nice couch, very nice and comfortable, big couch. So this is a nice hangout area, especially once you have the doors up, you actually become part of the conversation. So this is nice. This is a nice, easy flowing uh, uh, seat and, and, and space. We're not going to lift the door right now. In this particular boat, we have the club corner. Um, you have either the two chairs as an option with the liquor cabinet in the middle or you have a bed or a couch with a liquor cabinet on the side. So those are the two options that you have with this particular boat. A nice feature that you have here is this little hatch actually goes straight through to the helm station so you can communicate with the helm station from inside. A table, the, this, this particular boat has the table with a bar inside it. Um, so you can carry it carry all your breakable bottles there um, and it's got really nice upholstery it's a nice seating area what's really nice about this boat is you also obviously have these um, these windows that are uh, that slide open and so if you have the windows open and the door up it's like sitting on a porch it's really nice and airy and breezy this. Okay, then moving forwards, you now have your fridge, which is a fridge up top and a freezer down below with your cold water dispenser. Come and have a look, see, nice, pretty decent fridge. And then your freezer down below. That's a pretty decent sized freezer as well. 
these switches we have here. When you're underway, what happens is you close these switches and uh, well, that, that, that keeps the, the fridge from flying over. Um, moving forward, nice gap. Got a double sink, you've got lots of storage areas to store stuff. You've got a backsplash so it doesn't, don't, you know, to separate the couch. And then you have that area and this entire area plus the cooktop. So this is actually a huge gap, uh, you know, by comparison for the size of the boat. So then what we have here is we have our, um, our opening window. Which is great because that opens up. When you're on anchor, you've got a really nice breeze flowing through here. Then over here, we've got a pretty nice little nav station. It's got a really big, big space here. Um, so this is really nice and two or four foot, not lots of storage there for your water booze here. We have a, the Raymarine uh, multi and, and a ch chart plotter, VHF, and you have, here is your, your electrical panel. And this here is all your tankages and voltage and volumes. So, pretty neat setup. Alright, so, now we're going to go out the front door. See if there's a generator in here. That's where the generator would go. This this boat obviously doesn't have one, so it's good to use it as a big set of storage. There's your anchor setup. Really nice setup. Look at the storage in there. Anchor chain down there. Oh, that's a great setup. Easy, easy easy accessible. access. Pretty nice setup here. Good visibility from the helm. Uh, we've got our chart plotter, engine controls, and our multi over here. It's actually our autopilot. We've got electric electric winch over here to handle all the uh, all, all the lines, and we have another winch over there, which is manual on this boat. Self-tacking jib. You'll see the track over there. Self-tacking jib on this boat. So there's solar panels and a sunbed up here. We have a, this looks like a 45 horsepower engine. Pretty neat. Nice big engine room. You can actually climb down in there and uh, get, uh, get to know your engine rather well. 
this boat has uh, cable steering as you can see there's the quadrant and the cables from up top the owner's owner side is really nice nicely done and uh, nice big queen size bed there's semi walk around here nice big windows opening windows Same here, nice and light and airy, and then storage, big storage here, two closets, and then uh, the settee of course, um, and the storage underneath the settee, again, here. Storage cabinets. And behind the door. This door closes. As you can tell. So you're completely locked off from the uh, from the other side. It's nice and wide in here. And then you have the same the closets in here again. Behind the door. Let's just open this. And back up on the stairs. So here's the door to the bathroom. And it's a beautiful sized bathroom with a ton of storage spaces. There you go. Lots and lots and lots of storage. This is really fantastic. And I would imagine this is where your washer dryer would go if you have to put one in. A nice size, big shower unit. Right, so I'm just going to turn around so that you can see it from this side. Two basins, these and hers. Storage, as you can see, a drawer and cabinet there. You have the two vanities with storage there. And then you have this cabinet, which either you can use as storage or as your washer dryer. Very nicely done. Right. Let's come kind of see what's on the other side. Nice big bed. Again, it's a queen size bed just about. Storage in here, opening window. You have a hatch above the above the bed. And there's storage here. Storage in these in the cabinets here. Um, and then this, oh here's the bathroom. So this is a Jack and Jewel, it looks like uh, the bedroom again. All right, so again, sort of semi walk around bed. This is the aft cabin. <laughs> yes, so this is a this is a Jack and Jewel. This is very smart. So in in this case you have a toilet in a basin, um, and then you have a shared shower unit with the other bathroom. This makes a lot more sense. It gives it gives the uh, boat a lot more um, space. So let's do this again. I'll just walk through from... This is very smart. We have a Jack and Jill arrangement here where you have a bathroom uh, with a basin and toilet. There we go. Basin and toilet, your vanity. Um, and then you have a shared shower unit in the middle. And then you walk through, if you wanted to, you can walk through to the other bathroom that is the, that shares the shower. This is so much smarter because you just have a lot more, a lot more space um, for both bedrooms. So it's not so cramped. This makes a lot of sense. So a shared, 
a shower in the middle that closes off, of course, so that you have privacy. And then uh, each one has the, uh, their own um, vanity and toilet, each, uh, each cabin. This is great. Really? And this is, so the, this is the forward cabin. Yeah, that works. For a 40 foot, uh, 42 foot bed, it really has a lot of space. And I'm in love with this galley. I think this will be a winner. So, Stephen, this is our, this is our next uh, boat, our second boat, rather. This is our spare boat. Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to sell that 5.4 and move on to the 4.2. I've yeah, not today. Less, I've seen much <laughs> less surface area to clean and love much less maintenance. <laughs> we invite you to join us at the Catamaran Guru Sailing Academy in Fort Lauderdale. We will be up and running by March 2022 and will host RYA sailing courses, ICC conversions and owner orientations on board our brand new Bali 4.2. Go to catamaranguru.com for full details.